Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like button, the subscribe button, or don't. I'm going to keep making videos, so it is what it is. Now, let's talk about Keith Thurman. Keith One Time Thurman. This guy is the most called out person at 147 right now. Or at least recently. Errol Spence has gone on the record saying that after he beats Kell Brook, he's going to push for a fight with Keith Thurman next. No interim bout after Kell Brook. He wants to fight Keith Thurman right after that. And also recently, Kell Brook has come out and said that he wants to fight Keith Thurman next, right after he beats Errol Spence. Now, regardless of whoever wins that fight between Kell Brook and Errol Spence, I would love to see any of those matchups. Kell Brook versus Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence. I think that makes for a great fight. Another unification bout. Winner holds one of three belts. And then next, that person can target Manny Pacquiao. Now, what I sincerely believe is, oh, well, you know, we're not going to get into that first. Let, let, let's back up a little bit. Keith Thurman used to be the guy that called everyone out, right? And now, everyone's calling him out. The hunter has become the hunted, right? Keith Thurman used to call everybody out. He used to run his mouth so much. And then he just stopped. You know, right before the Sean Porter fight, that's when he stopped becoming so vocal, so vocal, right? You know, and you remember all that, all that stuff he made Sean Porter go through to get that fight? They postponed the fight the first time, then it got postponed again, or did it get postponed? I don't know, but I do know that Keith Thurman faked the car accident. He didn't show us any records, you know, any hospital records, no medical records, nothing. But he said he was in a car accident. He, sh he showed us a beat-up Chevy with the windows broken out. No damage to the body of the car at all. So that had me wondering, did Keith Thurman really get into an accident? Or was he lying just one more time? I think he was lying about the car accident, really. And if you go back and listen to some of Kenny Porter's videos, he doesn't believe that Keith Thurman got into an accident either. But we're not bashing Keith Thurman too bad this video because I know how sensitive some of y'all are out, out there about Keith Thurman. Y'all love him. So anytime somebody bashes him, you hit that unsubscribe button. But it's cool. If you do that, you'll be back. I guarantee you'll be back. But anyway, after the, after the Sean Porter fight, you know, I, I had more respect for Keith Thurman. You know, he went into hiding again, hibernation or whatever, for, you know, months. And then we found out he was going to be fighting Danny Garcia next, right? So he beats Danny Garcia. He takes the green belt. He's got two belts now. What's next? I really wish he would have pursued a fight with Manny Pacquiao. I really wish he would have actually tried to secure that fight because from where I'm at, you know, he didn't really try to secure that fight. He he waited, waited, waited till Pacquiao had that opponent. Then he called him out, basically. So what's going to happen after the Keith, or rather, Kell Brook, Errol Spence fight? You know, I got Errol Spence winning that fight against Kell Brook. And to be honest with you, I don't think Keith Thurman beats Kell Brook. I don't think he beats Errol Spence. I think he's he's undersized. Man, both of the you know what? Kell Brook for sure. I I don't see Keith Thurman beating Errol Spence at all. I, I just don't see that at all, man. Keith Thurman is a midget, man. He got some speed. He got some power. You know, he, he likes to use angles, man. But, you know, I don't see him beating Kell Brook, man. I don't see him beating Errol Spence either. I really don't see that happening. So, Keith Thurman, you know, he's still undefeated. But, you know, his days as being an undefeated champion, I think they're numbered. Like calendars on ceilings. But we'll have to see. I'm pretty sure Keith Thurman's going to opt for one of his mandatories. What happened to Lamont Peterson? I thought Lamont Peterson was was the mandatory for that WBA belt. And from what I hear, from what I hear, Amir Khan got dropped in the rankings by the WBC. I think Sean Porter's still number two, which is crazy, right? 
Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, Sean Porter. Yeah, if I recall, I checked Sean Porter's the number two um, contender for the WBC belt. But when they thought it was for the WBA belt, I don't, I don't get that. But anyway, we could see a rematch between Keith Thurman and Sean Porter, even though I don't think that fight would be any different. Unless, if you guys recall, Sean Porter just fought Andre Berto, and that was kind of, I don't know, that was a whack fight, in my opinion. Um, you know, he, you know, Sean likes to rush in with his head down, head button dudes. That's not cool. Y'all need to switch the game plan up on that, man, for real. Um, but I, I, I guess those are, you know, quite possibly his next opponents, Sean Porter and Lamont Peterson, I guess, even though I haven't heard nothing about Sean. Lamont Peterson. You know, I would love to see Keith Thurman fight a a Kell Brook or Errol Spence next, whoever wins that fight. But if if we're being realistic, I mean he just took two very tough fights back to back. I, I just don't see him taking another fight like that. You know, um and I don't see him escaping with a win against Errol Spence or Kell Brook, to be perfectly honest with you. As far as Manny Pacquiao is concerned, I mean, I think Keith Thurman could beat Manny Pacquiao. I think it would be a good fight. I just don't think Manny Pacquiao would want to take that fight at this stage in his career. He's older. Uh, we'll see how he looks against Jeff Horn. I, I imagine he'll stop Jeff Horn. You know, and people be like, oh, Pacquiao, it's the old Pacquiao. Then he get in the ring with somebody like Keith Thurman. You know, he he just stopped breathing after, after he gets knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a wrap. So... Keith Thurman is a is a wanted man at 147. Everybody wants a piece of Keith Thurman. Um, but we'll have to see where, what he decides to do, man. I haven't heard much from Keith Thurman, man. You know, this dude used to, you know, I ran into him, you know, in my part of town. And I can say this, Keith Thurman's a lame. He's, he's a lame, all right? You know, he was dressed like a bum. I know he got money. It is what it is. But he was dressed like, he was dressed super bummy. This was after the Sean Porter fight. He looking for a place to buy a suit. You know, because he, he seen the, the suit I had on. It was fly. I ain't going to lie. It was Ralph Lauren. It was hot, you know. He was like, where you get that suit from? I'm like, hey, Macy's, man. He was like, Macy's? Where's that at? What's that? Yeah, you would ask that question, wouldn't you, Keith Thurman, since you like playing the flute all day. But, hey, I directed him. It's all good. And now he want to be on TV rocking Bape. You know, last time I saw Keith Thurman on TV, he was sitting next to Tank Davis and Errol Spence. Remember that? Remember how scared he was looking? Looking terrified? Stuttering all over the place? As soon as they asked him about Errol Spence, he started stuttering. Or, or uh, 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 when he, oh, would you fight Errol Spence? Uh, 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 what? What'd you say? Well, uh... uh uh, fans, what they want. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Stuttering. Because you don't want to fight him. You don't want to fight Kell Brook either. You won't fight either one of them dudes. You're going to duck him. You're going to get into another fake car accident. But hey, that's what Keith Thurman does. You know, he, he fakes injuries, car accidents. He likes doing stuff like that. But I will tell you this. A fight with either one of those guys would be a good fight for boxing. And we'd get a chance to get another unification bout. And that's all that really matters right now. The welterweight division is popping again. Spence and our Brook. And what, a week? Next weekend, right? Yeah. Memorial Day weekend. So, I'm really excited for that. No matter who wins that fight, I'm going to get on the channel. And I'm going to get a winner props. But you know what? The winner just happens to be... Errol Spence in this situation. And then we can watch Chief Thurman duck Errol Spence after he wins. Right or wrong. He don't want that work. I'm telling you, Keith, Keith don't want that work. I'm telling you. Look up that video of him on Showtime. Looking shook. He didn't want it then. He don't want no problems now. With either one of them dudes. Go fight Pacquiao because he old. And you know you can beat them. But hey, that's one time for you. Let me know who let me know who you guys want Keith Thurman to fight next. 
And tell him to stop ducking, son. Hitman Boxing. Like the video, comment, subscribe, or don't. I'm out.